Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So, uh, we have discussed about uh, fan of flows, they are compressible 1D flows with friction. Uh, we looked at uh, how they behave, what are their equations and we solved a simple numerical in a subsonic uh, case. Uh, Let us solve a couple of uh, numericals now. Mm. You can also look at what happens in supersonic case and if there are uh, shocks and so on. So, let us look at this problem. Uh, a gas uh, gamma is given 1.3 R is 287. So, please uh, make note of gamma it is slightly different from what we usually use. So, if you are using calculators online calculators then there is an option to change gamma. Okay. Uh, so, at P 1 equal to 1 bar T 1 equal to 400 Kelvin. So, it is given. So, P 1 is given, T 1 is given uh, 400 Kelvin enters a 30 centimeter diameter duct. Okay, uh, duct diameter is given at uh, a Mach number of 2, M 1 is given. So, let us draw the duct. Okay. Uh, we know P 1 is 1 bar T 1 is 400 Kelvin and M 1 is 2.0. A normal shock occurs at a Mach number of 1.5. So, it is a fan of flow uh, with. Uh, so, in supersonic conditions Mach number decreases. So, at somewhere in the duct some location we do not know the location uh, in terms of length, but we know the Mach number. Mach number is 1.5 at which the shock occurs. So, let us call this particular place okay, I call it as x and after the shock as y uh, and what is known is uh, at the exit at location 2 uh, the Mach number is 1. So, here exit Mach number uh, m 2 is equal to 1. Mm, it is very uh, uh, effective if you are able to draw a, a T s diagram of this particular case. So, what we are looking at is essentially something of this kind, this is the star point. Mm -hmm. So, initially uh, you are started with Mach number 2, so this is point 1 and uh, follows the Fano curve reaches a point x, x where there is a shock. So, the shock transfers uh, the Fano curve. Uh, so, the line that is being followed from x to y which is located on the subsonic branch of the Fano curve and it reaches uh, point 2 which is exactly equal to uh, the star condition. So, it is useful to draw this. If you are understand this then it is uh, once this is understood it is uh, reasonably easy to uh, calculate uh, all the other things. Uh, friction coefficient the mean value of friction coefficient is 0 0.003. So, f prime 0 0.003 determine the lengths of upstream duct and downstream duct of the shock wave. So, what is the location of the shock wave? We know the Mach numbers at which they are uh, located. So, this is at 1.5. So, m x equal to 1.5 we know this value. Uh, so, and we also need to find the uh, uh, change in uh, entropy mass flow rate of the gas and so on. So, um, let us look at this uh, uh, problem. Now, 
So, we know that uh, normal shock if it is located at uh, m, m1, so m x is uh, 1.5, then we know m y it is a normal shock, okay. but uh, please uh, make sure that gamma you change it is 1.3, m y is 0 0.69, okay. pressure ratio across the shock is p y by p x is uh, 2.413 and T y by T x is 1.247 okay. and P 0 y by P 0 x is 0 0.926 and we know M 1 it is 2. Okay. So, how do we uh, proceed from here? Okay. So, uh, what we should find out is what is uh, uh, L 1. So, uh, at Mach number equal to M 1 equal to 2.0, the value of 4 F L star by D, this is known, it is uh, uh, 0 0.357. You can also make note of P by P star it is 0 0.424, T by T star is 0 0.719 and P naught by P naught star is uh, 1.773. Okay. So, it is better to make note of them and P no M x at M x this is 1.5. So, 4 F L star by d at 1.5 is 0 0.156 and p by p star similarly p by p star is 0 0.618 t by t star is 0 0.86 p naught by p naught star is uh, 1.189 okay so uh, what is the length now uh, before the shock? It is easy to find that out. So, 4 F L by D is equal to 0 0.357 minus 0 0.156, which is um, 0 0.201. So, L is uh, 0 0.201 multiplied by diameter it is given 30 centimeters. So, uh, 0 0.3 divided by 4 multiplied by 0 0.003 this turns out to be 5.025 meter. Okay. Uh, similarly, now across the shock you know the conditions. Okay. Now, uh, across the shock the condition is that your Mach number is M y is 0 0.3 six nine and uh, four F L max by D or F L star by D for zero point six nine is zero point two five two five. So P by P star is one point five zero one T by T star and P naught by P naught star is 1.1048. Hmm. So, uh, similarly, so downstream it is directly L star. So, we know L star. And so, because it is going to uh, Mach number 1 at the exit. So, L 2, this is L 1, L 2 is 6.3125 meters. So, that solves the problem. Uh, the second case is what is mass flow rate for this you need to know the uh, mass flow rate m dot is um, rho 1 v 1 a 1. Uh, a is known because diameter is given 30 centimeters or 0.3 meters. So, area you can find pi by 4 d square area turns out to be 
0 0.0706 uh, meter square. Uh, density rho 1, uh, P 1 and uh, uh, T 1 are given. So, you can find out rho 1 is P 1 by R T 1 ok. Uh, that is 0 0.871 kilogram per meter cube. And what about V 1? V 1 is uh, Mach number is given 2.0 and uh, multiplied by square root of gamma r t1 okay where t1 is 400 kelvin so substitute all of them here uh, put them and m dot turns out to be 47.515 kilogram per second now how to get uh, 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 net change in entropy delta s by cp Okay, so for this uh, we can use uh, or delta S by R, you can use delta S by R, it should be related to uh, uh, the change in entropy. So, is minus log of P naught 2 by P naught 1. So, if you know the total change in uh, P naught 2 by P naught 1, there is change in the or ratio of the stagnation pressures then uh, we can find out what is the uh, entropy change ok. So, uh, so here what are the stagnation changes if you like write P naught 2 uh, by P naught 1 this uh, can be expressed as uh, P naught 2 by P naught y multiplied by P naught y by P naught x multiplied by uh, P naught x by P naught 1 where P naught 2 by P naught y comes from Fano flow, Fano curve or uh, those uh, equations. P naught y by P naught x is normal shock, uh, the stagnation pressure ratio across normal shock and P 0 x by P naught 1 is again by uh, Fano curve. Okay, though you can uh, get these by different, you know Mach numbers at each particular point. So, P naught 2 by P naught y can be expressed as P naught 2 by P 0 star by P naught y by P 0 star and similarly P naught x by P naught 1 is P 0 x by P 0 star divided by P naught 1 by P 0 star. You can express these all these in uh, terms and finally, you can arrive at P 0 2 by P 0 1 and uh, delta S by R is E power minus hmm, uh, uh, oh, so, uh, delta S by R is directly log of P 0 2 by P 0 1 sorry ok. So, uh, if you get P 0 2 by P 0 1 then delta S by R is equal to 0 0.576 ok that is the change in uh, entropy right. So, let us uh, this looks at a problem in which uh, uh, we have a supersonic flow coming in there is a normal shock in the middle of the duct uh, at some location and uh, finally, at the exit Mach number equal to 1. Uh, in these uh, situations always it is useful to draw the T s diagram and then it is very easy uh, once you know the T s diagram you know what you are looking for and uh, rest of it is through charts or uh, you can use the online calculators to get the other uh, numbers. But the essential concept uh, one has to understand ok the location of shock and how to represent it on a uh, Fano curve. Now, if you look at the next problem, uh, the stagnation chamber of wind tunnel is connected to a high pressure air reservoir by a long pipe of 100 mm diameter. If the static pressure ratio between the reservoir and the stagnation chamber is 10 and the reservoir static pressure is uh, 
1.0135 into 10 power 7 Newton per meter square. How long the pipe be without choking? So, what should be the length of pipe so that there is no choking? Assume adiabatic subsonic one dimensional flow with a friction coefficient of uh, 0.005. So, um, let us represent it schematically, this is a sort of applied uh, kind of a problem uh, where you are considering wind tunnels and we had looked at how wind tunnels look like in the previous classes. Uh, they usually have air reservoirs which are located quite far away from the test section. So, a relevant problem uh, and they are connected by pipes. So, you have a long pipe. And this is air reservoirs where a large am amount of air is stored, okay, air reservoir and this and this diameter is given d equal to 100 mm. And here you have a smaller stagnation chamber, okay, it is a smaller stagnation and then further it goes down, you have the wind tunnel down. So, what is given is the ratio of pressures across this. Now, if you consider uh, reservoirs, what you would say as static pressure, inside the reservoir the velocities are going to be extremely small. So, um, the uh, you can almost take that P naught is approximately equal to P. So, uh, if this is 1 and this is 2, then what you are essentially given here is P naught 1 is approximately equal to P 1 and P naught 2 is very close to P 2 inside the uh, uh, reservoir or inside the stagnation chamber somewhere at this location you can say. But please uh, mind uh, that at the entry to the pipe and the exit to the pipe you can have different stagnate uh, different static pressures because flow will obviously be coming in gushing in from all directions. Similarly, flow will be exiting over here. Okay. So, they are not uh, talking about these entry points here which is 1 and 2 for the pipe. What we look for is 1 and 2 of the pipe, but uh, what you are given of course, is about uh, what is there inside the uh, reservoir. Okay. So, uh, can we now look at this? Uh, problem. So, what we are given is uh, uh, basically P naught 2 uh, by P naught 1 or P naught 1 by P naught 2 is given, the ratio is uh, 10. Okay. And uh, what about uh, uh, now we are considering that what should be the length mm, that it does not choke. So, uh, the what is the maximum limit? Maximum limit uh, L max uh, is a point when it chokes. So, m equal to 1. Suppose we take the maximum limit that is L max m equal to 1. Uh, any length which is less than L max uh, will satisfy that it is not choked. So, we take the limiting condition uh, L max is. So, this is equal to L max. So, L max. So, uh, what do we know about that? We know that it is P by uh, P 1 by P star. Okay, this is what is uh, known P 1 by P star. This can be written as P 1 by uh, P 0 1 multiplied by P 0 2 uh, P 0 1 by P 0 2 multiplied by uh, P 0 2 by p star or p 2 or p 2 is actually p star uh, in this case. Okay. This is equal to this and p 0 1 by p 0 2 is given okay. and uh, also we know that uh, at 2 uh, Mach number m 2 is equal to 1. Therefore, p 0 2 by p 2 is also known at, at that particular point. So, this is p 1 by p 0 1 multiplied by uh, 10 multiplied by 1.893 okay 1.893 should be equal to p1 by p star what is uh, p1 by p01 this is 1 by 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square 
whole power gamma by gamma minus 1 multiplied by 18.93 and what is p1 by p star this is uh, from fan of flow this is across the pipe that is 1 by m1 multiplied by gamma plus 1 by 2 divided by 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m square the whole power 1 by 2 okay so this is what we know from uh, fan of flow okay so now we have an equation solely in terms of gamma and m uh, mach number which is m1 here where gamma is equal to 1.4 Okay. We can further take m1 uh, this parameter over here and you will get this as uh, 1 by m1 multiplied by gamma plus 1 by 2 1 by 2 multiplied by uh, 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 m1 square whole power uh, 1 by 2 gamma minus 1. Okay equal to 18.93 okay. this is known for us this is also a constant you can uh, divide that so you will get 1 plus m1 uh, 1 by m1 multiplied by 1 plus 0.2 m1 square divided by 1 what well, this is 1 2.5 sorry raised to 2.5 2.5 is equal to 17.2806 now we know that Mach number is extremely small okay so for a uh, so this of course you have to solve um, it, but uh, it needs an iterative solution but one fact we know Mach number is extremely small at the entry uh, so m1 square is going to be uh, very small so if we take that uh, approximation then this parameter is going to be 1 so Mach number m1 will approximately be equal to 0 0.057868 so we get a ballpark number uh, this is a number uh, where uh, the Mach number of point uh, at point 1 and um, we can then uh, look at uh, uh, iterating this slightly so so as to satisfy uh, even more closer this particular uh, condition okay so uh, you can do a little bit of iteration and uh, exact number is very close to 0 0.059579 so you see uh, if you take the third decimal place they are almost the same 0 0.0 this is 0 0.058 so uh, this is known so once you know this you know that L star that is L star you can get by uh, finding out what is 4 F L star by D for this Mach number this is, is turns out to be 207.14 therefore L star is 1035.69 meters so any length which is smaller than this l star uh, will not have a, a choked flow so uh, this is a nice applied uh, problem where pressure ratio was given across the reservoirs uh, and then uh, the length was uh, the maximum length at which uh, choking would occur is uh, taken okay so there are two uh, problems so we have covered a problem in subsonic flow a problem involving supersonic flow and shocks and an applied problem and this covers uh, fan of flow which is one of the uh, uh, driving um, uh, changes of compressible flow in ducts so we have discussed two drivers one is variable area the other one is flow with friction now one more uh, driver is flow where there is heat transfer when when you consider heat transfer you don't consider varying area or friction uh, that kind of a flow is known as rally flow which we will see in the 
uh, next class. Uh, thank you.